petters. I have one called Moonstone. It's a silver. It's a dark silver. And I don't know if you know this, but if you use a bottle opener to open these little jars, this pops up. It saves your fingernails. The next one is called a New Silver. It's a light silver. Then I've got a, a blue, a green color, and one raspberry. And I also have a cocoa, um, which we're not going to use on the actual fish, but we're going to use it on something on the board, which we'll get to in a few minutes. Now you're probably looking at these little terrible things right here. These are just little samples that I like to do before I actually paint the real cake. Because imagine if you're not quite sure on the colors and you do it on the cake, you can't go back. You can't wipe it off. Maybe you could try, but it'd never be the same. So I just took some, in this case, I took gray fondant actually, because I wasn't sure if I wanted to cover the fish with gray fondant first or with white, which was this one. So I just kind of made a fish-like thing, but I know they're, these are horrible, so don't don't look at the shades. Okay, it's just, just samples. Okay, so this one, what I did is on the trout, it's got like this pinky color, and then it's got bluish green up here, and then obviously the body is more silver. So I took some of this, the lighter silver first, and just brushed it all over both fish. And I like the coloring that came out better on the on the white font using the white fondant rather than the gray fondant. So we'll get rid of that. That's why we covered this in white fondant. Okay. Next step, what I did is I went ahead and took the raspberry color and went down this did the stripe in the middle, and we're going to do some of that on the fins here. And then I took uh, some of this blue, which I don't have enough on this fish, but see how the blue. That's going to look really good. It's going to look like this blue. And then if we take some green in there also, in between, that's going to make our nice little rainbow trout. And then after we dust, I'll show you how I did these little dots to resemble these little specks that are on the fish. So let's go ahead and start dusting. First, what we need to do is get the light silver here. So I'm just going to take that, kind of dab it in my brush right here, in my... Uh, lid of the container and kind of go just pretty much all over the fish. I'm going to go on the fins everywhere. So now I have my raspberry color. Got my picture right here so it looks like there's a little bit right in here right on the face. Take some of that, a little bit at a time. It's better to add, add more later than to put too much on. But actually that fish's got quite a bit of this color on there, doesn't it? So right in that area. And looks like right on the fence, more of the edge, the tips. So there, right down the center, I'm going to do a lot right down here in the center. I just thought this rainbow one was a little prettier with more of the, you know, colors, variety of colors in it, where some of the other trouts were just more of a greeny brown color, so. Yeah, they're not going to care as long as it's a fish. <laughs> ¶¶